What the hell am I doing? Created by female mangaka Yana Taboso, Black Butler is an anime slash manga series set in Victorian England, detailing the life of a bratty 14-year-old noble and his several thousand-year-old demon butler playing a chess game. But honestly though, they never stop talking about that frickin' chess metaphor, oh my god. I'd be surprised if you clicked on this video without even knowing what the series is all about, so I won't bore you all by giving you a super detailed plot summary, but anyway, let's talk about Yana Taboso and the interesting publication history of Black Butler. But to be honest, we don't know too much about Yana Taboso. We do know that Yana Taboso is an alias, and that she is currently around 36 years old, living in the Kangawa Prefecture in Japan. She also chooses to depict herself as this cute little devil creature, and she actually once made a public appearance in a bitter rabbit costume at this black label pop-up store in Osaka. Anyway, Yana, under a couple different pen names, has written various manga series and one-shots, but her by far most successful work has been the Black Butler series. The first volume of Black Butler was published in Japan by Square Enix on February 27th, 2007, with individual chapters being serialized in monthly GF Fantasy since around 2006. The popularity of Black Butler really began to pick up after an anime adaptation by A1 Pictures came out in 2008, which prompted multiple countries to start to license the series for translation. Black Butler ended up gaining a video game in 2009, a live action in 2014, and five musicals. Seriously, there has been a musical adaptation for every Black Butler arc that has an anime adaptation, but to be honest, I'm not mad about it. <laughs> now that we went through the story of the series, let's start talking about the most interesting bit, the art itself. Let's start with the cover art, specifically between the first issue and issue 28. There is a super clear jump in quality between the two here. In the art style, not how they look, Okay, look, I know this one looks really ratty. I brought it to school with me when I first bought it. Yes, I brought it to school with me. Look, I was in middle school. You probably would have done the same thing too. <laughs> now that people won't judge me for not having mint condition books, we can analyze the two covers more in depth. As I said before, the jump in artistic quality is clearly visible. I mean, just look how much more interesting and dynamic the latest issue looks. The posing, lighting, and composition overall really makes it feel like Sebastian is reaching out in a 3D space, rather than in the first volume where he's just kind of there. I mean, don't get me wrong, both volumes have good art. I'm not hating on Yana or anyone who draws like she used to. The second book has a stronger use of design and displays more about who Sebastian really is. With the first few covers in the series, all the viewer might get is that he's some suave butler with a dark side, but in the newer edition, we really see the devilish intent and sort of cruel elegance Sebastian is really all about. And again, just look at the strong, interesting lighting and composition. It's amazing. Now, let's get into the art inside the books itself. Again, we can compare the earlier editions to the latest editions that I have on hand anyway. In the very first books, we see this non-specific shoujo manga style. It's a little stiff, you know? It's definitely not bad, but not particularly good either. Especially when compared to the art in the most recent books. Toboso has really come into her own here. The style has changed a lot and is so much more unique looking. You really get an idea of who these characters are and once again, the anatomy is a lot better. Maybe I'm just a sucker for a more realistic looking style, but the anatomy and posing of the characters is just so much more natural. And the layout of the panels themselves have really improved too. One of the first things anyone might learn about when getting into comics is a thing called page layouts or page compositions. If you don't know what I mean by this, it's basically about the composition of the entire page or spread of a comic, and where to put or not to put panels and text in order to make your comic more readable or make the readers feel a certain way. A good layout will give your manga good rhythm and pacing, and this is a very small but vital step in making a good graphic novel. We can really see how much better the page layouts have gotten throughout this manga's history, and they really elevate the manga's storytelling. Again, we can compare panels from early books to later books. Let's not compare books then. <laughs> um, well, this gives me a chance to talk about my favorite book in the series then, Book 27! Considering how well it's illustrated and just how good the composition of the pages are, it feels like a crime not to mention this. But unfortunately, before we get too into it, I'm gonna need to put a quick spoiler card up. If you have only watched the anime or haven't read through the entirety of this book and want to steer clear of any spoilers whatsoever, you have been warned. Honestly, the plot twist explained in this book is the biggest plot twist in the series so far, so yeah. Make sure you click the like button before you go though. Ahaha. <laughs> Are they gone? <clears throat> now that the elites who've read the manga are here, we can talk about my favorite book in the entire series, 
book 27. Now, the thing with this volume is just how truly depressing it is. We see the entirety of CL's backstory illustrated in such a beautiful way. It doesn't feel like the reader is being told of his past, but reliving it with him as a third party observer. We feel the same tension and terror the boys must have felt in their situation all the way to the final panel. This, I think, is the most exemplified right when the real CL is taken away from our CL. The whole page illustration, especially with the empty background, has this moment of pause before true horror sets in, kind of like the millisecond before a roller coaster drops off the edge it's been teetering on for a while. That split second of processing right before true emotions settle in, and this panel just zeroes in on that moment and sets up for the absolute information overload on the next couple of spreads. Finally, I really want to highlight just how engaging this book is. The last panel in every spread leads so nicely into the first panel in the next spread, which makes the book and a lot of the most recent books super interesting to read. This volume in the series really relies on its art and illustration to communicate CL's backstory, making it, in my opinion, best one in the series. Any good manga series should really let their art be the driving force for the story, as, well, manga is a visual medium after all. I feel like a lot of people associate Black Butler with the sort of horny teen girl mentality. Like the moment a girl says they like the series, people think, oh, you miss Simple vs. Sebastian or whatever. Like that's definitely true for some of the fan base. don't get me wrong, but the reason that Black Butler has held my interest for so long is because of the story. I've been invested in this series since the seventh grade. I have almost every single English translation of the manga, and I just, I want to know how it ends. I want to see if CL can break out of his contract. I want to know what's going to happen with Elizabeth and CL's second brother and like all of this stuff. I want to see it end. Not just because I simp over the sexy demon butler or whatever the hell. <laughs> Maybe this perception comes from people who've only seen the anime since the manga honestly is so much better than any adaptation I've seen because of how much the art in the manga helps the story. But anyway, enough of my rambling. Make sure you like and subscribe if you liked the video, and if you have any critiques for me at all, please leave them in the comments below since this is my first YouTube video after all. You know, things can only go up from here. <laughs> Alright, well, see you guys. Bye bye!